Hey everyone, Wids here. So yesterday I did get a notification on Twitter from the actual Division 2 developers and I couldn't believe what the tweet actually said. So yeah, I do actually have notifications on when it comes to the Division on Twitter. So I did get this information yesterday. However, as you can see in this room, you've probably never seen it before. And that's because I recently moved to a new apartment. So I finally have my own room to my PC, which I'm pretty excited about. And that is also why you haven't seen me posting it or streaming in like the last two weeks. But now everything's starting to get done. So do expect more videos now again and also more streams on Twitch. I am planning to probably check out one human, maybe check out first descendant a bit more which i did try on stream but personally like i'm just not feeling first descendant but that might be another video if you're playing any of uh, those games once human or first descendant please let me know and tell me what which one i should play but anyway let's talk about this uh, mind-blowing tweet from the division 2 team on twitter but before we do that i want to talk about today's video sponsor metalcore Metalcore is a third-person sci-fi MMO where epic mix and intense PvPvE battles await you. It reminds me a bit of Dark Zone but just bigger, where you fight AI and also other players. You have a stash in your base but you also do have an inventory so when your character dies you will drop your items on you, which will spice up the game. So in Metalcore you start as a soldier and then you climb the ranks to command an arsenal of powerful mechs and war machines. Their coolest feature in my opinion is their scanning system so you can fight mechs and when you defeat the mech you can scan it then you get a blueprint for that mech and then you can also convert them into web free assets for trading there's over 150 playable units including mechs tanks and aircraft metalcore offers endless hours of exciting gameplay the game also have factions and faction wars with open world exploration and discovery featuring dynamic mission and ai driven quests making each mission unique metalcore also have a player driven economy where your engagement skill and time spent in the game are rewarded metalcore is currently in closed beta if you want to check it out click my link in the description for a chance to get beta access or get guaranteed access by purchasing a founders pack. I will also later this week give away free beta access keys on my stream. A big thanks to Metalcore for sponsoring this video and make sure you go follow them at PlayMetalcore on Twitter and use the hashtag PlayMetalcore and Metalcore Game to share your adventures. Now back to the video. All right, so the Division 2 team did tweet this message yesterday saying this. A message from the Division 2 team. Agents. We hear you and we want to assure you that we have carefully considered your feedback after the announcement of Season 2.0. And they actually took quite some time um, to, to give us a real response. So it's going to be interesting to see what they say. But it's understandable. It's a, it's a big change, right? So, yeah. After thorough examination and discussions with the team, we have decided to re-evaluate Season 2.0 with particular attention to seasonal characters with the goal of progressing without them. This change will not impact the previously announced Year 6 plan, but it will require us to assess the changes necessary to the new seasonal experience, which will be integrated with Year 6 Season 2 this fall. Once we have ironed out the finer details, we will return with more information, a live stream, and a PTS. Thank you for making your voices heard and your continued support as we work to improve the Division 2 experience to serve our community. The Division 2 development team. Okay guys, so all the voices you guys did, they have heard you and I think this should be pretty good. It's something that I said, and even the first time I heard about this, I never understood why they tried to force people to, to do this, right? Like, give us incentives, but like for the people that just want to follow the lore, it doesn't make sense to force them to, to create a new seasonal character. So with this, the way I read it is that, yeah, like they will try and make it uh, possible to do this, to, to do the, the content without a seasonal character, right? which should make a lot of people happy. Everything else will stay the same. So most likely you can just play your main with the, the new season 2.0, right? All the stuff. And you can still create a seasonal character. Like seasonal characters will still be there, 
but they won't be forced upon you as before. Even though like I like seasonal characters and I was pretty excited for it, I am still a bit excited for it, but this also makes me question, right? Like Division 2 doesn't have the biggest player base, also not the smallest. But if there's not enough incentives, then maybe nobody will play a seasonal character. And then I see already in the comment section below, but yeah, isn't that good? People play whatever they want. And I mean, if you want to if you want to re-level up a character, you don't need seasonal characters. Just delete your character and create a new one. No, it's not it's not the same, right? Like the reason seasonal characters in a lot of games are exciting, taking Diablo as an example, is because everybody starts at an even even playing field, right? And that's yeah, and you just go from there, making it quite exciting. Which I understand a lot of people don't like that, but me personally, the times I have encountered that, I have enjoyed that. So I think this approach is the right way to do it. I'm just really interested to hear what the incentives will be for a seasonal character so as long as they have somewhat in good incentives to do that maybe some unique patches unique cosmetics uh, some really good way to farm shd like somewhere along those lines like as i talked about in my previous videos going through this like maybe give us double or triple like sort of components shd levels right so like if you want to farm the fastest you would do a seasonal character, right? But then, of course, you'd be like, yeah, but why would I play my main if I get less uh, rewards? Because you will still put in less time, right? And on top of that, you will get the same rewards as you get right now, just that the seasonal character will be cracked up, right? And I, I don't think anybody should or should have an issue with that. Th that's how I see it. Or they would just lock... Uh, seasonal gear or whatever to the, the seasonal character i went through this in a video before right i think in, in short just uh, make uh, rewards double triple or whatever something like that for the seasonal character and i think that should be good enough ideally we get some really cool cosmetics for like doing something on the seasonal character but we know that won't happen because they need money and how do you get money you sell uh, Super good uh, skins in the store for $20, $30, right? So giving away those for free, I don't think they will do. But yeah, with all that said, we just gotta wait until we get more information from... As they said in, in this text, right? They will give us more information. And they said a live stream and a PTS will be there. So we will be able to test stuff. So until then, we just gotta wait. But please let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this. I assume a lot of you guys are extremely happy with this. For me, I think this is a good thing. I mean, community were in big uproar and they responded, right? Which even if, let's say, I didn't like this, I think that is still pretty good from the developers. You should still always, like, you should listen to your fan base, of course, and player base. But you gotta keep in mind that the minority is the loudest, right? So you shouldn't just fully listen to, to the community like that. Because in some cases, it might be a mistake, like we could see with stuff from Division 1 coming to Division 2. For example, changing PvP as dramatically as they did for Division 2. A lot of people ask for that. I mean, where are those people now, you know? <laughs> Same with the Dark Zone as well, right? So... But let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this. And I will be live streaming on Twitch definitely this week. Most likely today. If you're watching this on Saturday. Then it means the video got out. And probably I will actually start with Division 2. Because I have to finish the apparel event. And eventually I will get back to the Dark Zone. And finish my expertise to 25. But with that said, thank you guys for watching the video. And... Make sure you go to my stream at twitch.tv slash wids and subscribe, like, and put notifications on so you don't miss my next YouTube video. Take care.